No number is given, but we are asked to find something. How? Welcome back to my channel. We are asked to find the ratio of AD is to DC. How possible is that? No number is given, but one thing is clear. We are told that triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So ABC is equilateral. Now, one thing about equilateral triangles is that all the angles are equal and all the sides are equal. So if triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, it simply means that angle C is equal to angle B, which is equal to angle A, which is equal to 60 degrees. Okay? Excuse me. So, having established that fact, it simply means that care is 60, care is 60, and here is 60 as well. Now, remember that D should also be 60. It should be equal to A. And E should also be 60. It should be equal to B. How? Let me explain. But before that, if this is the first time you are coming across our wonderful channel, we wouldn't like to miss you here. So, join the family by clicking that subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos at all. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and always share, like, and comment. Tell us how you feel about our, our videos. If there's anything we are not doing well, please tell us on the comments. We are always here. We always reply and we always learn from you. Okay, thank you. So I wanted to explain why Angle A is equal to angle D. Now remember that DE is parallel to AB because we are told that a DEFG is a square. DEFG is a square. So if that is true, that means DG, DE is parallel to FG. That simply means that the whole of this is parallel to that. So if we draw DE and AB, they are parallel to each other. And line AC becomes a transversal. So this is C, this is, okay, sorry, our C is still on top, all right? But this part is our D and this part is our A. Now you can see that this angle here will be equal to this angle here because they are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. So that is why angle A is equal to angle D. And similarly, angle E is equal to angle B. Now, because this is a square, this is 90 degrees. The internal angles of a square is 90 degrees each. So that means this is also 90 degrees. Okay? So now let me draw triangle AFD. So this is 90, this is 60. So this is A, this is F, and this is D. Now I want us to establish something. Please watch closely. The sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees. So this angle here is X. So if we have 60 plus X plus 90, it should give us 180 degrees, right? So 60 plus 90 will give us 150. Is equal to 180. So if we subtract 150 from both sides, we will have that X is equal to 30. So we have this place to be 30. Now, this is a special type of triangle, triangle 30, 60, 90. It has a stipulated ratio of its sides. This is what I mean. Now, 
before I do anything here, let's come back to our square. Let's call the length of our square L. So it means that DF is L, right? And FG is L as well. GE is L and DE is L as well, right? Okay. Now, let us go back to this. So this place is L. But before we say that, remember the ratio of the sides of a 30, 60 degree angle is we have 30, we have 60, we have 90, right? It's going to be 1 is to root 3 is to 2. 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So it simply means that if the side facing 30 degrees, which is AF, is right, you call it X. So that means this is X. It means that the side facing our C, which is DF, should be what? X root 3. And it means that the side facing our ninth, which is the hypotenuse, is x times 2, which is 2x. So let's go ahead and fill in this thing. So our df is x root 3, right? That is the side facing 60. And the side facing 90 is 2x, this side. Okay. Now I want you to look closely again. Recall that df is the length of our square. So it simply means that L is equal to x root 3. So we want to get the value of x, right? So if we get the value of x, we divide both sides by root 3. Divide by root 3. So this remove this and we have that x is equal to L divided by root 3. If that is the case, so it means that AD is equal to 2x. So this is equal to 2 multiplied by L over root 3. So this will be 2L over root 3. All right? So we have gotten AD. So our AD is 2L over root 3. So we have here to be 2L over root 3. Oh, that seems to be small. So AD is 2L over root 3. And DC is L. Why? Remember that if this is 60, and this is 60, and this is 60, it simply means that this is also an equilateral triangle, and all the sides are equal. So, So I will explain more. Triangle A, triangle CDE is what? Equilateral. So it simply means that all the sides are equal. This C is equal to DE, which is equal to EC, which is equal to L. Since DE is L, so every other side should be L. Now the question says we should find AD is to DC. So it's going to be 2L is going to be 2L over root 3 is to what is our DC? Our DC is L. Now dividing both sides by L we will have 2 over root 3 is to 1. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You can still rationalize this anyways. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.